Hey guys, just wanted to give a little update. Uh, so here's the game. It's actually being controlled on my iPad right now. I am on the left analog on my iPad, rotating the character around, and as you can see, walks around, looks good, plays well. Uh, press the button on the right hand side, and I can actually have the character start wielding that giant box and hitting things. If I hold that button to the left of the right, far right button, it uh, allows the character to run in any direction I want. Uh, walking up to these blocks, these are NPCs, so non-player control. So if I click through these, um, you can actually have dialogue and kind of tell the player where you want them to go uh, in the game. Um, there's even a feature, and I'll show in a second, where you can actually pick up items after you talk to your NPC. But yeah, this will uh, direct everyone to uh, where I, or lead them to where I want them to go. Um, running over here, important part of a video game, you gotta have a enemy and you gotta have some fighting and combat to keep people entertained. So uh, the combat, the hit point system works well. Uh, I'll be dropping in some AI later on and uh, yeah, I should have some like full-fledged combat going on, which is pretty cool. Uh, this new camera system I picked up is amazing. It has the uh, not only the ability to do third-person perspective, but first-person perspective as well which is great for like investigating certain scenes and a third person perspective can be pivot, it can be follow, it can be on a spline really really cool looking um, then uh, you can actually as I mentioned before go up to these items and when you click on them the screen will fade to black I still gotta figure out how to bring up the image of the particular item and then you'll take whatever item is associated with it and you can go that to mult go to multiple ones there's a script to check if you've already picked up the item or not and if you have nothing new will occur so then uh, you can uh, run along as the player and there's another camera feature where it's a uh, a free floating um, movement by just using your uh, right side of your iPad you can actually rotate the camera any way you want based on certain camera triggers that you run into and this thing uh, when you walk into this trigger it will get you a focus onto that white sphere so that could definitely uh, that's kind of a uncharted kind of trick where it pushes your attention to your next objective and where you want to go Now this right here is a uh, model of one of the main characters in the game and he's actually a 3D scan of a guy named Michael Evans. I have a, a piece of hardware that allows me to do 3D scans and I managed to pull him in and rig him in this game. Which is uh, pretty awesome. I think I'm going to keep doing it with all my characters in this game. This was the original first draft of this game and I used a point and click type of feature thinking that would be easier to control for the iOS but in fact it was just clunkier and harder to use and as you can see the character movement wasn't very good he he looks like he's got a, a problem or, or whatever but uh, but you see elements that are in here that you know will be and can be easily applied and switched over um, you know a lot of nav mesh agent features where you could tell the character to go where you want it to go a lot of AI features especially with that caretaker dialogue system set up but more importantly it's the painting it's the environment um, I kinda got this down using body paint and a lot of cinema 4d and uh, you can kinda see the actual model here when I uh, actually get crazy with it um, this whole scene is composed of all pre-baked lights and textures and there's probably maybe 14 different 3d pieces of geometry in this entire room fantastic for game engine fantastic for memory consumption fantastic for playability so I got a bunch of things I still need to work on um, I need to add in some AI for the enemies. I need to finish up my inventory system. I need to finish up my level load system, my main menu system. Boy, a bunch of different systems. But, um, you know, it's it's an elephant that you eat one bite at a time and uh, kind of just push through, get through it done, or get it done. And uh, hopefully sooner than later, I'll actually be able to push out a game on the iOS. But, uh, you know, I don't get a chance to talk to a lot of people very often. Um, they're busy, I'm busy, everyone's busy, so I just kind of wanted to put this up and show everyone what's going on, and I uh, hope you dig it. Talk to you later.